All right, what's up, everybody? So in this last video, as we wrap this up, um, given that I've been um, encouraging people to do something different, and maybe um, check Istanbul out a little bit during their time, um, during their time over there while they're getting their hair transplant. I feel like it's only right for me to um, be responsible and um, and mention some of the pitfalls that could happen uh, when a person is over there um, as well. First and foremost, I just want to say that I, you know, I felt good in Istanbul. I had a good time in Istanbul, and I'm not here to speak bad on um, on Istanbul, uh, neither on Asli Tarkin or nothing to that effect. Uh, but I am here just to be as transparent as I can be and be uh, and be uh, honest and be responsible toward uh, any human being, but especially uh, uh, human beings that look like me. Uh, so, so with that being said, if you saw um, one of my earlier videos, I spoke about a small mishap that I had when I first arrived to my hotel in Istanbul um, with one of the other bros that was already over there. Um, I linked up with him um, he was from, uh, from Dallas, Texas, uh, me and him linked up, hit it off right quick and, um, you know, decided to cross the street from our hotel to a, uh, to a nice mall that was over there in Istanbul. Before we could even get in the mall door, um, a Turkish gentleman was flagging us down, was smiling and, uh, you just knew right away that it was, uh, it just wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a good vibe. So anyway, um, I just ignored the dude kept walking, didn't pay no attention. Um, I thought he was trying to sell me something, actually. Um, I'm a person that um, has spent a lot of time outside of the United States. I've spent about, I've lived about a third of, yeah, about a third of my life outside of the States. So um, I'm hit to the little schemes and scams and the games that people try to run on tourists. Um, like I said, um, I, I've lived outside of the States for a while. Uh, I can spot it a mile away and I've seen, um, People have tried their little tricks on me. People have done tricks on me. And I've seen um, tourists getting tricked, you know. So uh, with that being said, um, like I said, I saw this guy who was uh, who I thought was trying to sell us something. We just ignored him, um, kept it moving, walked through the mall. Um, actually, me and the bro, we thought um, the mall was kind of, wasn't all that, you know. So we kind of was out of there in like 15, 20 minutes as we were coming out the uh, exit door which happened to be the same girl we entered. Uh, that same gentleman was, was waiting on us. Uh, we couldn't even get down the stairs. He intercepted us on the steps and, you know, just start talking, just start chopping it up like he knew us, you know. And um, like I said, for me, that was a red flag right away. Um, long story short, this dude ended up um, trying, to, trying to get us in his car, uh, wanted to take us, you know, out for some Turkish food, wanted to get us some tea. I mean, the whole nine yards, man, he was... You know, I guess he was running his best game, but um, not to make it too long. I just cut him off in the process, uh, told him that, you know, we wasn't getting in his car. Uh, pretty much just sent him on his way. Um, and he was pissed, man. He was, you could tell he was frustrated. Um, he just knew that he had um, some stupid tourists, you know, in his hand. And, you know, no telling what plans he had for us. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because um, before I went to Turkey, um, I just was online snooping around doing some investigation and I was checking out some sites and um, I'm going to try to find that website, get the link and post the link in the description of this video so you can see it for yourself. But um, it was a website that was describing how when tourists go over to Turkey, a lot of the uh, Turkish people, what they'll do, how they'll get tourists is uh, they'll act super nice. They'll act like they are happy that you're in their country and that they want to... Um, as a guest, invite you to have food, to have drinks. Um, so you're accepting all these things. Uh, you're laughing, you're talking, you're having a good time with them. And then before the night is over, uh, they'll run up on you and say, um, you know, this meal and this uh, beer you had, for example, costs like uh, $300 or $250, some nonsense, some crazy. And obviously, you know, you're looking at them like, what? You know, I'm not paying that much for, a, you know, a plate and a drink. And um, they pretty much, I guess, surround you with like some people and they don't let you leave until you pay that amount. Um, and if you don't pay that amount, then, you know, they'll they'll kind of try to threaten you or try to scare you into paying it. So that's kind of their way of like, you know, getting tourists for the money, their way of robbing tourists. Um, and like I said, I had read that before we went over there and I thought that was crazy. And um, now that I look at it in hindsight, um, that's what the guy at the mall was trying to do to me and the bro that was from uh, from Dallas, Texas. 
you know, um, like I said, he was telling us he wanted to invite us to have some food, wanted to invite us, you know, to have some tea, and he was trying to get in his get us in his car to take him to this uh to take us to a place, you know, where we could uh get this food or whatnot. So now that I look back, it's just crazy, you know. I had read about this thing online, and I wasn't even over there for fifteen minutes, man, and I was already living it. It was happening to me. Um, so like I said, didn't really capture what was going on while it was happening to me. I didn't think back to that that I had read online, but just my common sense instincts kicked in, man, and it was obviously no way I was, uh, you know, about to get in this man's car, you know, so, uh, like I said, I sent him on his way, he was kind of pissed, and that was the end of that, uh, but the reason I'm bringing this up, man, is because this, um, like I said, this is a real thing in Turkey, they do this, and this um, wasn't something new uh, with respect to uh, to Asley Tarkin either, and I'm not trying to make a bad name for them, I feel like their service was excellent, I feel like they attended to me well, um, but I did feel like they dropped the ball in one area as far as uh, us being tourists over there went. And I told my coordinator about this. Um, so, you know, again, it's not like I'm on here trying to bash them, just being transparent and um, keeping it all the way real, looking out for people, like I said, that are from the same country that I'm from, or not even from the same country I'm from, people who look like me or people who don't even look like me, just human beings, period, man. Uh, don't want nobody to go over there and have a spoiled trip because they're getting caught up in silly stuff. But going back to Asley Tarkin, again, if you watch one of my previous videos, um, I mentioned that I had spoke about this little scam situation that the guy tried to do to us, to my coordinator, Asley Tarkin, and he immediately knew who I was talking about. He said, yeah, you know, don't talk to these people. Um, you know, those people are professional uh, criminals, they're scammers, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, I, I appreciated that, but at the same time, it was like I didn't appreciate it because... He already knew who I was talking about. If you guys already know this type of thing happens over there, then why are we being briefed on that? You know, as soon as we touch down while we're sitting down, you know, um, paying with our credit card, you're taking our money, you know, when we get over there on the first day. So we should be having a small little briefing, a small little briefing um, about, you know, uh, how to move around over there, um, what or what not to do. Um, Cause like I said, everybody just is not used to stuff like that, man. And believe it or not, for as simple or as uh, crazy as it might sound, uh, people go for that type of stuff, man. People fall for it. And like I said, the coordinator, Leslie Tarkin, he said that, um, you know, it wasn't the first time that he had um, heard of that case, uh, you know. So like I said, people uh, people fall in that trap, man. So I just felt like they could have been a little um, a little more efficient in that area. And like I said. Um, maybe you know tip us out or explain that to us you know um, but anyway fortunately enough like i said in my case didn't fall in the trap um, but i'm sure i'm not the first person that they tried it on and i'm sure i won't be the last person that they try it on so again i'm just mentioning this because i want to uh, be responsible on my behalf if i'm encouraging people to get out and move around more also want people to know uh, what the flip side of that could look like you know it, it might be something that you might not even come across um but again, I'm not trying to, you know, scare anybody or speak negative, neither on Asley Turkin nor on Istanbul. Um, like I said, I had a good time over there. Um, the little things that I did get out and do and did get out and see, um, you know, felt very safe. Like I said, even um, even got treated well by people. Um, but I did think Asley Turkin was a little deficient in that area, and I feel like they could have briefed us a little more. So, um again, like I said, if you uh, haven't seen uh, one of my earlier videos where I do speak about this, uh, it's in there. You can go back and check it out. But I just wanted to at least throw that out there. So, you know, um, do your research, do your investigation online uh, the same way I did. Uh, maybe, you know, you come across something that I didn't read or something that I didn't know about. And you can know that for yourself. Share it with somebody else, too. And, um, you know, like I said, enjoy yourself while you're over there. Just, uh, you know, have your antennas up and, and, and watch yourself because you are a tourist at the end of the day. And people know that they can see you coming from a mile away. So, um, again, this is not a negative video. I'm not trying to bash neither the country nor the clinic. Um, but I am trying to be honest and be transparent and speak about um, what were my personal experiences uh, while I was over there during that time. So thanks for watching me again. Peace, peace.